Hey, shalom brothers, shalom sisters, Bishop Nathaniel here. That's right, you know what day it is. It's Shout Out Tuesday. It is Shout Out Tuesday. And I pray you brothers and sisters join me every Tuesday afternoon on IUIC Events Channel, where I will be reading your kind and inspirational letters, also thanking you for your kind donations, and also covering very important biblical information for the mental well-being of our 12 tribes. That's right, 12 tribes worldwide. So hope to see you then every Tuesday afternoon on IUIC Events. Shalom. Welcome to Fox News Empire. Thank you, thank you, thank you. How you hey, doing? Hey, <laughs> hey, what a great man. We're in the house, we're in the house. Thank you, thank you. Yes, Welcome. <laughs> Dickin Malachi, I hope I pronounced it well. Yes, you did. Dickin Malachi. I, 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 correct, huh? Dickin Malachi. Malachi. So the Malachi in the Bible. Yes. Thank you. Yes, it's an honor. And I have the captain. Oh, yes. Captain Isaac, welcome. Most high Christ bless you. Shalom. Captain Isaac. Yes, sir. Are you the captain of the Marine? The captain. Yes, of the of God's army. All of us Thank are you. soldiers in the Most High's army. Soldiers. Yes, yes right. sir. Unwell Christian soldiers. Yes, sir. Marching us to war. Yes. That's you right. Are winning so for Christ. Yes. Ah. We're, we're about to bring the war on this airwave today. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you very much. So, your guess is good as mine. The stronger man. Where well, your captain is in the house, and they are in the house. It's right, you're not dead for Christ. So whatever you are, here we go now. Here we go now. And I'll start with my main man, Dickin Abaya. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Even your voice tells that you are powerful in the realm of God. Hey, all praise to the Most High God. Thank you. Let me start with you. Yes, sir, how can I help you? This question is huge. Yo. Can we finish? Can you? Can we? Can we finish? I'm mean, explaining my question. Absolutely. Answer. We, we can. Hit me. Thank you. Okay. My first question. Mm -hmm. Who are the Israelites? That's a beautiful, beautiful question. Who are the Israelites? Exactly. Because exactly. when we come to Ghana, my country, and Ashanti Ghana, we are living now here, mm -hmm. we know the fundamentals of Israel. Right. So when Israelites was in Egypt land. They were they, they were they were in slavery for 150 years plus, mm -hmm. and uh, Jesus Christ promised them a, a lot of things about the promised land. It took them more than 100 years before Moses came out, and afterward Pharaoh. And uh, these are the stories. Right. But truly, who are the Israelites? Excellent, excellent question. Let me tell you something. What you all are going to find out, and we're talking to you, you citizens of Ghana, the biggest biggest mystery the biggest secret that world has ever seen is hidden right here in ghana and it's not gold it's not uh, uh, uh cocoa it's not any of your resources it's the people right here the secret is that you ghanians are the children of israel that's right listen we're going to show you today with the bible See, unlike church, we're not going to sit up and hoop and holler and get the hemming and hawing. We're going to actually show you in the Bible what God said and who the Israelites are. You ready? Yeah. Strap on your seatbelt, bro. It's about, to be, it's about to be a roller coaster, because bro. Because I'm in the dark now. Uh-huh. Bring me to the light. Hey, we riding. We riding. Daniels, we are Israelites. You are the children of Israel. Let me ask you a question. Yeah. Growing up, who was you told this was? From our our colonial masters, uh -huh. they said that. that wait, is wait, from who? Colonial masters. Your colonial masters. From, from my research, uh -huh. from the colonial masters. Go ahead. He said this is the picture depicts Jesus Christ. Right, that's what they told us. Right. That's right. Okay. Because they came into Africa, uh -huh. Ghana, mm -hmm. with three reasons. Right. One, to teach us to know Christ. Mm -hmm. Two, to discover the sea route to India. Mm -hmm. And three, to do trade with us. It, to take your people as slaves. <laughs> what we gonna show you? This is not Jesus Christ. 
This picture is not Jesus Christ. No, sir. And this man is an a film this, actor in the US of A. This is a you absolutely right. He's an actor in the US. Recently he came out. Uh -huh. Now we should stop watching him. You we need to let watch, this watch, go. Stop watching for him. This is the devil that the Bible speaks of. That's right. Oh, but the devil is a black man. Oh no, 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 no. The devil is the so-called white man. And we're gonna show you in the Bible. Give me Revelations 1. Touch we're gonna do a comparison. We're gonna see if this looks more like Jesus or this looks more like Jesus. Let's get it. Revelation is the first chapter. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 1. Come on. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. Uh -huh. And he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant Shh, John. Drop on your seatbelts, brother, because we're about to see the revealing of Jesus Christ. That's what the word revelation means. It means to reveal. Jump down to verse 10. Verse 10. Mm -hmm. I was in the spirit on the Lord's day and heard behind me a great voice as of a trumpet. So John said on the Lord's day, he heard behind him. What do you hear with? Your ears. He said he heard behind him the voice of who? Jesus Christ, and it sounded like a trumpet. Go ahead. Verse 11, saying, I am Alpha and Omega, the first and the last, and what thou seest, write in a book. Brother, what do you see with? Your eyes. Christ told him what you see, write it in a book. Watch this. And send it unto the seven churches which are in Asia, unto Ephesus, and unto Smyrna, mm -hmm. and unto Pergamos, and unto Thyatira, and unto Sardis, and unto Philadelphia, and unto Laodicea. Mm -hmm. And I turn to... Oh, now watch this. He told him what you see, write in a book. John goes on to say, read. And I turned to see the voice that spake with me. He said, I turned to see. Many people today will tell you, no one knows what Christ looks like. That's a lie. Many people today will say, oh, Jesus was a spirit. That also is a lie. Jesus Christ had a body. He had flesh. It says, and I turned to see the voice that spake with me. Come on. And being turned, I saw seven golden candlesticks. He's seen a menorah. Matter of fact, you can see it on, on the brother's shirt right here. Yeah, yeah. He saw a menorah. Come on. Yeah. So he's writing it down. He's seen a menorah. Read. Verse yeah. 13. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, uh -huh. one light unto the son of man so standing in front of the those that menorah he saw jesus christ the son of man come on clothed with a garment down to the foot and he had a garment that went all the way down to his feet we're reading about jesus and what he was wearing right now come on and girt about the paps with a golden girdle he had a golden girdle on a golden belt come on his head and his hairs uh -huh. were white like wool. It says the hairs that was on his head mm -hmm. and the hairs that on his face, his facial hair, were white and woolly textured. Mm -hmm. I got a question, Ghana. What nation of people have woolly textured hair? Is it the white man, the Abruni? Or is it you? Who has um, woolly textured hair? Uh, like your hair. I'm looking at your hair. Look. Uh-huh. Look, I'm not coming to the light. Uh-oh. I mean, repeat that point again. That Read it again. That his, his head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow. Uh-huh. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. It says Jesus Christ's hair looked like sheep's wool. This is not sheep's wool. Never. This yes. is sheep's wool like your hair. Now watch this. It says... He, uh, his eyes were as a flame of fire because Jesus Christ drunk wine as the prophecy in Deuteronomy. But read on. Verse 15. Uh -huh. And his feet like unto fine brass. He's seen Jesus Christ's feet. He said he looked at his feet and it looked like fine brass. Now, wait a minute. What color is brass? Is brass white? No. No, you've never seen white brass. No. What color is brass, brother? Brown like you. Now, watch this. You're going to take that brass, read. As if they burned in a furnace. And burn it. What color does anything get when you burn it? Darker. Jesus Christ wasn't just a, he wasn't my color. He was far darker than me. He was your complexion, brother. He was Deacon Malachi's complexion. A very, very dark skinned man. But they put this man in the church. They gave this, the colonizers gave us this man to worship. Why? Why? Because the biggest secret the earth has ever seen is that you 
you Ghanaians here right now, you descendants of the slave trade are the children of Israel. When we broke God's commandments and didn't do what he said, he said, I will send a nation far from afar to take you into slavery. And it happened. And we're living in the after effects of it right now. He says this nation was going to rise up and steal your resources just like they're doing today right here in Ghana. Now, you look perplexed. Let's prove that. You got something? Um, Matthew 24, verse 4. But, but, Read. But, but, but before, before, Captain, mm -hmm. before you go on, mm -hmm. uh, uh, for the sake of our listeners and of our viewers, yes, sir. I would like you to just um, mention the, 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 the Bible quotations. Uh, that, 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 let me see. Let me see. That was Revelation, the first chapter where we read take from. It, um, let, I want my viewers, my listeners, to write them down. Tell, write them so down, take at, notes. At your own leisure time. Uh -huh. so take your time. Go back and read it. And read it. Yes, so, yes. Captain, take yes, me sir. one by one, the quotations. Yes, sir. That, that, was, that we discuss now. Yes, sir. That yeah. was Revelation chapter 1 and verse 1. And then you jump down to Revelation chapter 1 and verse 14 for the depiction of of Jesus Christ. Let's go once again, Captain, with all due respect. Revelation chapter 1 Reve and verse 1. Thank you. And then you jump down to verse 14 for the depiction of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yes, sir. That's right. Now we're in Matthew 24 and verse 4. T Matthew 24 verse 4. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive that you. no man do what? Deceive, deceive you. This is the most important thing in your life. That you don't allow anyone to deceive you to where you lose your soul and salvation because you believed lies. You have, like you just said, for your viewers to write this down, yeah. to go read for themselves. That is the fundamental basics of what salvation is. You have to find God for yourself. Don't believe or trust no man. Believe what you read in the Bible. Don't take the white, the Ibruni's word for it. The, don't take anyone's the, word the, for the, it. Another, another school of thought are uh -huh. saying that. The Holy Bible is someone's, someone's written storybook. You know why they say that? No. Because they don't keep the commandments. They don't understand. There's mysteries found in this Bible that those same people will never understand. They can't explain why we went into slavery with slave ships. They can't explain why we had yokes of iron put around our necks. Mm -hmm. They can't explain these things that happened to our people. Why? Because they don't understand, nor do they keep God's commandments. But we understand. We see it. This is Bible prophecy that's come to life. This is Israel United in Christ. They are in Kumasi, a sacred way, Omoha. One, Omo me yomu say Sir Jesus Christ, you know. Onye ni pabroni, onye koko. Jesus Christ was a black man. That's right. And onye ni na yohe biyano. We are the sons and daughters of Israel. Yes, sir. And uh, but you know one thing that the Bible said that that's a Matthew chapter twenty-four. Uh huh. Uh, the one that the last. Yes, this is Matthew twenty-four. We're not done reading it. We still have verse no, five. Yeah. 24 to 4. Uh, 24 verse 4. 4 says, to 5. Four to, you said something that yeah. we should be careful that we will not be deceived. Yes, exactly. sir. Do you know that during the abolition of the slave trade, mm -hmm. it was a bishop, a church mm -hmm. bishop, who convinced the Europeans that if they want men who are strong to work in their plantations, mm. and they are it's blacks. His name was the late uh, Bishop Las Casas. Mm -hmm. Find out those who are historians, cross check. They were the men, they advised the Europeans, our colonial master, that if you want blacks, if you want people who are strong mm -hmm. to work on your plantations, it is blacks. Yeah, you're making reference to, um, his name is Bartolomos de las Casas. Las Casas, thank you. you captain, you are the captain. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, you sir. are the captain. <laughs> you see? And <laughs> See, and these people are those people who deceived us. That's so right. Yes. I am making this point to the quotation we give right now, Genesis 24, mm -hmm. 4 to 5 there. Yes, so sir. we should very careful, we not be deceived. But they deceived us. Yes. yes. They came when their ships were coming. Eh? On top of the ship are the Holy Bible, the Bibles. Mm -hmm. But under are their wine. Yes, yes. And under is where they keep the slaves. Mm -hmm. yeah, right. mm -hmm. And when they even, 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 even went ahead, to impregnate our beautiful black women. Mm -hmm. They train them inside their missionary and they call them mulattoes. Exactly. Mm. You're absolutely right. They raped our women. 
All of this is in the Bible that they would do that. It's all prophecy that's been fulfilled in Deuteronomy the 28th but, but, chapter. But, 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 they call, but yeah. Why all these yes, blacks, we haven't seen this? You know why? Because we've been cut off. Let's finish this verse real quick. Thank yes, you. Sir. Let's go. Verse tw Matthew 24, verse 5 now. Mm -hmm. For many shall come in my name, saying I am Christ, and shall deceive many. Many, just like the man you just, that so-called bishop that came and deceived our people. They have come and they have said, I am Christian, follow me. But they haven't, they don't follow God. They don't follow Jesus Christ. They follow man. Now, why were we cut off? Let's get that real quick. Give me Jeremiah. Mm -hmm. As you're looking for Jeremiah, mm -hmm. let me, let me, let me talk to the, the, the Malachi, the Deacon Malachi. Deacon Malachi. Yes, sir. How do you find Kumasi? How do I find Kumasi? Uh, yeah. We got a lot of brothers here. Yeah. We actually have a school here. Yes, yes, yes. We yes. have a school here. Yes, mm -hmm. we do. We have a school and here. I want to Kumasi. attend, man. Of course. So you welcome. You welcome to come anytime. Yeah, where is we here. We here for our people. We we get it together every uh, Saturday at three o'clock. And uh, yes, at uh, the culture, culture center. center. The culture center. Oh, wow. Yes, yes, I'll be yes. There. yes. You'll so be there? I'll Absolutely. Be there. Oh, I'll be there you're welcome to come. I want to be sharp in the Holy Bible. That's right. That's right. That's right. Because you know they've been lying to us for too long, man. Ah. You've been lying too long. You know what? You know what happened? Nah. Right now, people in Ghana have no excuse because now we can read. Mm -hmm. We can open the Bible and read it for ourselves. We don't need the European. We don't need the... What you call the white men again? Ibruni. Ibruni. <laughs> we don't need them don't to need teach us nothing. Yes. No. We yes. can open the Bible and read it ourselves. But they also have some, 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 some saying that... If you want to hide something quality from a black man, Ooh. hide it in the book. Put it book. in the book. Put it in the book. Because we refuse to read. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you know this that when you go to the church every Sunday, yeah. the pastor opened the Bible, the pastor want read one verse. Only. Only. One verse. And the pastor run his mouth for three hours. Mm -hmm. But he didn't he ain't teach nothing. Because the people is not reading it for themselves. You if it's not in the Bible, if the pastor tell you anything, if it's not in the Bible, do not believe it. What verse, what, 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 what you about to read? Yeah. Jer Jeremiah this is Jeremiah chapter 17 and verse 4. Mm -hmm. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee. So and that's why people in Ghana here did not know they are the Israelites. Because God said he gonna, he's going to discontinue us from our heritage. What is our heritage? We're supposed to keep the law of God, statue and commandment. Mm -hmm. We are the Israelites. That's our heritage. That's our culture. We're not Ghanaian. We're not Haitian. We're not African American. We are the Israelites. That's right. You got Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Jacob name changed to Israel. Jacob have twelve sons. Yeah. People here in Ghana is one of the twelve sons of Jacob. Mm -hmm. We that's are. That's who we are. Yes. Ghanaians, who we are. Yes. yes. That's who we are. They've been lying to us for century. Read that mm -hmm. again. That's why he said, even us. Why God cutting us for from our heritage because we sin. We sin against God. Mm -hmm. That's why you see people in, the Ga in Ghana is in the condition they are. People in Haiti, people in Jamaica, people in Santo Domingo. That's why we're in the condition we are. Because we break God's laws. Read. Wow. And I will cause thee to serve thine enemy. You hear what God said? Mm. God says going to cause us to serve thy enemy. Then we serve our enemies in slavery. They come in slavery against us here in Ghana. They took us to the America. They took us to Haiti. They took us to Jamaica. God sent them against us. Why? Because we break his laws. That's a prophecy. Did that come to pass? Yes. The only way you can say, God, people here in God is not Israelite, you have to burn this Bible or you have to take those verses out. You have to tear the pages. Mm -hmm. That's the only way. Without a shadow of a doubt, the people in Ghana is the Israelite. They come like what you said now is now happening now in some, part, some aspect of the world. What you mean is that happening now? Now you have to forgo your Christ and join their religion. Mm. Or else. Mm -hmm. yes. Well, guess what? Give me Zephaniah. Yes. It is going on now. It is going on now. It but this is what recently. God said. Yes, it is. But this is what God said. Mm. This is God's message to the Israelites. Because get, guess what? We are in the last days. Are we? Yes, yes. We are in the last days. But some people are saying, if, if, if the Almighty God, that who gave us that promise, even he sat on even a truck, a truck, you know, truck. Uh -huh. The one that we, you used to push to carry loads. Mm -hmm. I have reached Ghana a long time ago. So there's no end time. Listen, my brother. Yeah, my bro. You see the white man? Mm -hmm. The white man is the last rulership in the earth. Wow. Yes. If you look at, if you've been looking at the news, this man is the last rulership in the earth. If you've been looking at the news, the white man is falling, my brother. They are falling. 
and they are falling hard. So, 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 the Kimalakai, yes, before we come to the, the uh -huh. way, was Jesus Christ a dark color man? Was he a black man? Was he from Africa? I've given, I've asked you 30 questions. Jesus Christ is a black man, he just put it in the Bible, yes. Mm -hmm. Not only that, where is Israel? He's right in Africa, exactly. <laughs> wow, there's no remember. such thing as the Middle East. That's there a is, lie. Listen, people in Ghana. There is no such thing as the Middle East. That's something the white man, a boony, made up. There is no such thing. Israel is in Africa. Just like Egypt is in Africa. Don't let nobody fool you. It's time to wake up in Ghana. Stop letting them come. The boony come here. Lies to you. That is why, by the way, that is why they can come here. They stole you go. Yes. This place used to call what? The Ivory, Ivory, what do you call it? Gold, Gold Coast. Coast. Gold Coast. Gold Coast. Do you have any gold now? Mm. <laughs> mm. You don't have no gold. Why is that this place used to call Gold Coast? You, did you know? You know, Ghana is the second biggest cocoa producer in the world. Second. Why is that people in Ghana are suffering? Does that make sense? No. I should, I should be able to come here each, I should, I, listen, if I come to God, I should be able to borrow money from you. <laughs> because you guys should have money here. <laughs> but people in Ghana are suffering. The enemy come from the outside, take all, the res all your resources. You know why you don't say nothing? Give me that picture again. Mm -hmm. This is why you don't say nothing. Yes. Because of this guy. <laughs> because when your guys looking at them, your guys think they are God. You think this is Jesus. No, they are the devil the Bible speak of. They're not your friend. They are not your friend. They're not your brother. Do you know any? Do you know any friend who put who put the other friend in slavery? No. no. Friend don't put friend in slavery. Friend don't ra rape. Friend don't rob. Friend don't kill. No, that's the devil. Yes, I said it. That's the damn devil. Thank what you. devil mean deceiver? Thank they, you. they deceive the whole world. Thank you, Dick Malakai. Now, now, let me go to um, um, uh, 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 Captain. Yeah, we're still in Jeremiah 17, verse 4. Yeah, Jeremiah 17, verse 4. Yes, sir. It says, And I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in the land which thou knowest not. For ye have kindled a fire in my anger which shall burn forever. So, because of our disobedience to God, yes. God sent our enemies against us. We were disconnected from our true name, Israel, our true heritage, all of our culture. Our culture is found right here in this Bible. This is what brings us back is God's words. But now what do we call ourselves? Ghanaian. We call ourselves African-American, Haitian, Dominican, Mexican, Puerto Rican, whatever the case the may be. The Caribbean. Exactly. Yeah. We've all been separated, right? And now we think we're different people. Now watch this. Do you know when I got here, there were people that called me Ibruni. Ibruni. They said I'm Ibruni because of my, my tone. Yeah, yeah. But they forgot the history that my fathers and mothers was taken from here mm. and raped. Y'all know what they did to us, right? Some people here have forgotten about me, but we never forgot about you. We know the history. We're the same people, and we must come back together and keep God's commandments. Let's prove that, though, in Deuteronomy, because you asked about uh, this history, which you just stated earlier about the, about the bishop coming. All of that's found in here. Get that real quick. Deuteronomy yes, 28. This is Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. Here, I'll read. You, I'm going to let you. Okay. Deuteronomy 28 and 15. Mm -hmm. But it shall come to pass, mm -hmm. if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord so thy God. So what is Moses saying here, brother? Future prophecy. That's why he used the word shall come to pass. If we would not hearken, if we don't listen to God. To observe to do all his commandments. To observe to do all his, his commandments. commandments. Not some, all. All. Go ahead. And his statutes, uh -huh. which I command thee this day, uh -huh. that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So we're going to read some of these curses. Keep in mind, it said curses, not blessings. Let's jump to verse 32. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 32. Come on. Thy sons and thy daughters. Thy sons and thy daughters. Thy sons and thy daughters. Come on. Shall be given unto another people. Another race of people. Who ah. came here first? Ah. Brothers and sisters ah. of Ghana, who came to the Gold Coast first? You had the Portuguese. They set up Elmina Castle. Then you had the Dutch. Then you had the British. God says you shall be given unto another people. Another race of people. Read. Mm -hmm. And thine eyes shall look. And fail with longing for them all the day long. So your eyes looked and fail with longing for them all the day long because you cannot what? You cannot save them from their condition. You could not save them from slavery. That's why the Ashanti fought five wars. The Anglo Ashanti wars. Five wars to keep the British man out of Ghana. And what happened? You were still enslaved. 
You are still colonized. Commander. Come Commander. On. I, 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 it will be my great honor to meet you once again. <laughs> because this is just the tip of the iceberg. This is yes, just scratching the surface. This is just yes. a scratch, you know. Mm -hmm. Because today I know anyone or everyone who is listening to us or watching us have got an idea of who the Israelites are. That's right. Yes. We are the Israelites. That's, That's right. right. That's right. That's we right. are the true sons and daughters of God. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. And everything is in the Bible. That's what we're reading by. There's more. There's more. But, but There's because more. Of time, because of time, uh -huh. let me let me announce your phone lines. Yes, sir. So that people will be getting contact with you, where you can be located. Your 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 social media handles because we just have just three minutes to wrap up. Uh, yes, sir. Those Israel united in Christ mm -hmm. by His grace. They are now in Kumasi. Oh, yeah, sure. The only only guys of West Africa. Cultural center. Cultural center. Cultural center. Kumasi cultural center. How do you eh, come and learn? Come and learn your true identity. That's right. Don't be deceived. Why? We 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 have our own rights, and we are now selling our bad right to somebody who is the devil. That's right. Yes. Call us on 020-744. 3216 020 744 or 0540 85 9255 0540 85 9255 you can also get on our website our website is www.israelunite.org www and our Facebook handle is just our initials Israel united in Christ. So simple. Facebook, just check us right now. Everything you need to know about us, check our Facebook handle. I U I C Ghana. I U I C Ghana. I don't know the capital letters or small letters. Any? Okay. Okay. So our Facebook handle is I U I C Ghana. And today, I think that our time is almost up. We just have just two minutes, and I think we have to get like two hours. But if you want to come and know better, they can Abaya is around, they can Malaka is around, yes, and right. the commander Isaac inside is also here. And a lot of men, they are here in Kumasi Cultural Center. 247. Just call or come to us. Every Saturday afternoon, we'll be meeting at the Cultural Center. This Saturday, Frankie Teller, I'll be there because I want to, I want to, I want to be, I want to the word of God to be my armor and my sword That's so right. that. I can fight against that white man. That's, That's right. right. That's, That's right. right. That's right. That's what I'm because talking about. They deceive us for long. Yes. That's right. Oh yeah. They deceive us for long. Yes, sir. And, and we also refuse to learn our pure history. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. Right now, if you even see Ghana, most of our syllabus. That I'm a professional teacher, though. Those that are I'm a trained social history, history teacher. Mm. But look at what they are teaching the kids now. Exactly. And they, a lot of kids don't even know no, the history. No, no, no. They've summarized the whole thing. They mm. teach them just the fundamentals. Yep. Because they will tell you when you learn too much of history of your of your land. Mm. At the end of the day, does it give you work to do? Mm. But they never know. It opens your mind. It tells it truly identify who you are. That's it, right. And now, sharpen everything down. Mm. Once again, brothers, this is Israel United in Christ. Every Saturday, come on. We, we, we do a lot of big things. No, come to Culture Center. Once again, call us 020-744-2316 or 0540-85-9255. All too soon, our time is up. Dekin Abaya, Dekin Malakai, Captain Isaac, thank you very much and your crew. Thank you. Thank you. And, it was an and, honor. It is my pleasure. prayer that um you you book an, an appointment. Absolutely. I, it, it would be my dream that every every once every week, We'll be doing this education mm. so that those who are watching us all over the world by his grace fox fm we cover the whole world That's right. That's and right. i know that the result will come and we will arise and fight for our right That's mm. right. because yes, we've been deceived for so long That's it. yes sir thank you very much can you pray for us before we say bye-bye absolutely yes yeah. i actually got a prayer right here Heavenly Father, we come before thee in thy son's name. Father, thanking thee, Father, for all things. 
Father, we ask you, Father, that you put a spirit upon us, Father. Awake the 12 tribes of Israel, Father. Bring us back to our heritage, Father. Wake our people that are lost, Father, those that are asleep. Bring your word unto them, Father, and deliver us from the hand of our enemies. Deliver us from the Abruni, the Dutch, the English, all those that have transgressed against us, Father. We ask you quickly and speedily, Father, take this enemy down and bring us back. In thy son's name we thank thee and we pray. Amen. 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 That's right. Uh, Dick, Dick and Abaya, Dick and Malachi, Captain Isaac, thank you very much. And your crew, yes, I say sir. God bless you. God it is bless my you prayer too. that the Lord will give us his grace, mm -hmm. his favor, his honor, his blessings, protection and guidance so that surely this day we're going to be the same time on the same frequency. God bless you all. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission, minor murmuring, omitting and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. I, you, I, see, we deliver the truth.